Time for a plant haul. So today is my birthday. It is April 2nd. And on my birthday every year, I love to go to what I call the big greenhouses, which is actually a local plant company, county farm plant company. And they have these gigantic greenhouses just so full of plants. And I love going every year. It's a lot of fun. My son likes us to go because we get to ride around on these big gators. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with my plant haul, what I got this year for my birthday. <laughs> so first up, we got another Satsuma orange tree. This is an Owari Satsuma. It gets 12 by 12, and it's supposed to be able to hinder, handle our breezes that we get in our area, because we see orchards full of these Satsuma trees, and they're just so pretty and just so bushy and full of oranges around, you know, citrus season. So I'm excited to get another one of these. Um, ours didn't do very well in the Arctic Blast, so that's why I got another one because the other one we got, we had to cut down all the way down to that point because I still I was still alive at the end of that. So I'm just I'm excited to have another one to put in regard. Next up, we got blueberry bushes. Our blueberries are very, very ancient. I'm gonna pop in a little clip of what our blueberries look like right now. There are established ones. But these are this kind. I do not know what variety that is. I'm not even going to try to say it. But they are covered in berries already, as you can see. We got four of them. And we're going to plant these closer up to our garden. Our established blueberries that were here when we moved in on this property are way out in the back of our property. Next up, grapes. We had three very long, I say about 100 feet approximately of muscadine grapes and they performed very poorly because they were so old a lot of the vines of the, the the main vines had rotted and died back and they were just it was a mess we can never cut it back properly how we were supposed to so they would perform right and I think that it was just time to replace those and try with a fresh kind and luckily we found grape oh my which is a muscadine grape but guess what it's seedless it is seedless and tender it's a very new variety that was recently invented I guess you would say <laughs> but um, I'm very excited that it's a seedless and it's self-pollinated our other muscadines needed a male and a female plant so we had this really long vine in the middle of all these other vines that just did not produce anything and then we had the two on the sides that were made grapes anyway it was just it was pain so I'm just so glad that we got this kind right here and we're gonna grow also grow this one closer up to the garden instead of way out there we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do not with that ready one. this girl keeps pulling the plums off the tree they're not ready <laughs> if you watch my other videos I started Anaheim peppers and cayenne peppers my Anaheims were unsuccessful and I use those Anaheims as a sweet pill pepper kind of sort of and I was not able to get any of those to germinate which is sad I guess they were just too old to see so I picked up some bell peppers, some green bells. And this one's got two of them in there. I'll sure enough split them up and have seven plants. So we got seven bell peppers. And I have discovered a love of jalapenos on my tacos. And I would like to pickle some jalapenos um, this year again. And I didn't save any seed last year, but I'm definitely gonna save seed from these so I can start my own plants next year. And this one has eight in it because there's two in each, two in some of these cells. And then we're interested in doing our own chili hot sauce. And these are, these are not chilies, these are Tabascos. Huh. So anyway, my husband grabbed the wrong peppers and he grabbed Tabascos, even though we have Tabasco self seeding all over the garden. <laughs> Last, I got herbs. I have a greenhouse that's literally 20 feet off my back door, which leads from my kitchen. And I cannot imagine anything better than being able to go outside and collect herbs from my greenhouse to cook in meals. So I got a bunch of herbs and I'm just gonna fill that greenhouse up with as many as I can. I plan on starting a bunch of seeds too also to have plenty of herbs in there. But from the greenhouses, we picked up some lemon basil, sweet marjoram, French tarragon, French thyme, golden lemon thyme. That smells very lemony, it smells delicious. 
chocolate mint and a variegated sage and deal for pickles this year. I'm gonna, there's plenty of plants in here. I think there's like four plants that I can split up in different pots and have plenty of deal for making pickles this year. It smells so good. So that's our plant haul from the greenhouses. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to start planting everything out in the garden and potting up plants and putting in the greenhouse. So thank you for visiting me at Daniel's Backyard. Stay tuned to see more food being grown and harvested this year.